mom is just, she's a very loving, caring person. More people need to be like her. Sweetest person you'd ever want to know. Family comes first, regardless. Doesn't matter what's going on in your life, work, friends, whatever. Family always comes first. You drop everything to be there for your family. I think, from, as for many, my strength comes from mom. She's a fighter, always been a fighter. I think her, her determination to not let this define her is what I will remember her by in these recent years. What do you think is my mom's greatest accomplishment? Raising you three and seeing you guys set. You guys. Absolutely. Her kids, her husband, her household. Absolutely. She has raised the most amazing family. Roland included. <laughs> <laughs> That's she true. just has raised you guys with ethics, with empathy for others. You don't see a lot of that anymore. Yeah, you guys you guys are awesome. To me, I think I think it would be raising you kids. It's something she always wanted was to be a mom. You could just see how proud she was of each and every one of you for what you were accomplishing as you were growing up. The best accomplishment, I would say, is when she ran her daycare center. She was a mom to every child that went in that place. And when they left and were old enough and she did give it up, they loved her. They all grew up loving her. What's your favorite memory of my parents? Definitely going to the beach when we were younger. Um, and like, I, I just, I have, when I think of a Root Road um, and that house and being there, I, I just have, I have a lot of memories of like, you know, hanging out downstairs in the basement and, you know, talking with your dad a lot and, and being in his workshop and being outside and digging up stumps. Um, with your mom, I have a lot of great memories of you know, whenever we would get together at your house and whatever we were doing that day, whether it was making puzzles or playing some sort of board game, um, playing Monopoly with Amanda, there was always like, it was just such a good homey atmosphere. There was always, you know, we, lunch was always ready for us and it was on the kitchen counter. The love they have for each other, you can just see it in their faces. Um, they're so photogenic, and I don't really know how to describe it. When I first met your father, they were kissing and hugging, and, and of course, she, he always made her smile. So they were always laughing together and very loving with each other. I don't know, it's just watching the two of them and how much they loved each other. <sighs> Favorite memory, and it will always stay with me, they're the most compatible people I ever saw in my life. There is so much love between them. There's so much friendship. You could tell they're the best pals. They've got everything that I pray everybody has when they meet their mate and they marry because it's a hard road. You're gonna have up and downs, but if you could keep that friendship and that love, nothing's gonna pull you down, nothing. She has married a great guy and he's, she's a great gal. They make, they make the perfect couple. They raised a beautiful family. What more could I ask for? I love them all. favorite memory would definitely be all their parties. 
whether it be Halloween, Cinco de Mayo, van parties, <laughs> but definitely there are parties and just the celebration of friends and family and always having a good time with each other and lots of laughing and just entertaining and having such a blast with friends and family and just pouring the alcohol and <laughs> She was always smiling and laughing. She was always having a good time. Even if you weren't family, everything felt family oriented. What's your favorite memory of my parents? Actually, their first date. That is my first memory because I was walking from my house over to Aunt Florence's to babysit in this van that in this day and age, I would never let my cousin get into, by the way, because looks kind of creepy looking back on it, but I remember flagging him down here, here, because I knew she was expecting a date. And this small town, this van did not fit Granville. This has to be him. I mean, only 10 cars a day drove down Sodom Street, so this van I did not know, so it had to belong. Obviously, it went well, and that's been one of my favorite things about your mom through my whole life is watching her and your dad and the love and respect they have for each other. I'm old, I've known a lot of married couples. There are very few that have been as fortunate as your parents. I mean, as horrible as this journey's been, they really have had something amazing that most people don't ever achieve. And I guess it's really the, the Halloween party or making gingerbread cookies. And your mom was the one who basically embraced everybody and was very, very much welcoming that for basically all the festivities, making everybody feel at home. But for the gingerbread cookies, like that was just bananas for the stuff that we actually put on the cookies. I think I'd have to say the parties. I enjoyed all of them, but I think the Halloween really stands out more because they love to dress up. And I think it brought them both back to childhood. And your mom always went way out for it. I mean, she just, you just tell, she just got into it so much. She tried to get me in. It wasn't my thing. I liked going to the parties, right? I liked dressing up. So many memories, so many things. And I'm sure absolutely everyone has talked about their Halloween parties. And there are many memories, but I just remember one in particular Halloween party. And um, you kids were small at your old house, and you were playing football or something, and the ball went into the water of the pool. And your mom, awesome, she's just gonna get it out. So she's up on the deck and she's just trying to fish out the ball. <laughs> Doesn't your father just sneak up behind her, <laughs> push her into the pool? <laughs> well, you know, you'd think she'd come out angry, but she came out laughing. <laughs> and then everybody, of course, had to revenge your father and throw him in the pool. And that. Just that memory of just, she never got angry. She, you know, maybe she did, but not in front of me. But she just always was able to just adjust. And she, she just had a fun time hanging out in the pool. All the parties, all the parties. There's not one that stands out more than the other. Just they love to entertain. Each, each equally, your father and your mother both. And, and your father, he could get, you know, rip roaring drunk and be up at six o'clock the next morning cleaning the yard. I, I was always amazed at that. And your mother just went with the flow. Whoever, how many people came in, in, in and out of the house, out in the yard, whatever. I've never met anybody that liked to entertain as much as they do. I think all the times that they came to the lake, sitting around individually and talking with them. I think I treasured the private moments. In a group, Roland and Sandy are every single person's best friend. There's so many different times we're together with them. I think the one that stands out to me the most was the first Christmas week, Christmas day we spent at your house. The love in the room was just incredible. I met her through Whip City races. He had met them years before I did. 
he invited me to come to the race one night to watch them. And Sandy invited us over to your house afterwards. And it, that was my first experience with your family. When you envision a photo of my mom, what is she doing? Smiling. Your mother's always smiling. Even through the worst times with all that's going on right now, you can always count on her, see a smile on her face. That's how I see her all the time. Every picture I have of her, she's smiling. Every picture. And it's just, it's nice. She's having fun with her family and or friends. And she has a smile, always. She is having a good time, whatever the occasion is, she is having a good time. Laughing, definitely laughing. There's a picture from my wedding photos that just has her head back laughing with something Uncle Roland did or said. And that's the first thing that pops into my mind is her. She just always had that sparkle. Smiling. Smiling or running. Because she always, every single time, she always had that, I can't even reproduce it, but just the smile that she had whenever she was just like purely happy or just, just laughing at the stupidity of what we were doing or anything like that. She loved the sun, loved sitting outside. She'd come here when I first moved here and we'd sit on the back porch. She'd stop and get us coffee and we would just sit on the back porch. Just about every week she would come. I'd say, let me go get coffee tonight. She's like, no. She's like, I wanna go to your house. And we'd sit on the back porch. Even when she had the brace, even when she had the walker, she would still come and visit. And I'd say, let me take it to you. And she'd say, no, I want to just sit outside in the sun and you have the sun at this time. Whatever it is, she's active. She's either out on a bike somewhere or gardening or hiking, something related to being outside. On her front step, my front steps, like I said before, dirty as could be with that cast on her arm and looking down like that and a big smile on her face. And like the world was still great in her eyes. When I envision your mother in a photo, it's with me because I can I can see so many of them. I mean, we you know, we've done a lot together. We've been through a lot together. I have so many pictures, wonderful pictures of the two of us. I think being a grandmother was probably her favorite role in life. She loves them. She spends most of her time trying to figure out how to see them, how to talk with them, how to create traditions for them. She's a natural grandmother, and she loves being a grandmother to them. I think she smiles most ear to ear when she's spending time with those kids. If you could have one more day with mom, doing anything, what would you do? Oh boy, I have to be up at the lake. She loved coming up to visit us. She did. And, and jumping off the dock and... Just talking. Just talking. That's what I would want to do, talk to her. One more day. If I had the opportunity, I'd be holding her in my arms all day long. If I could still ride a bike, I'd been out riding a bike with her. We did a lot of, lot of walking together especially when I lived in Hamden Village. She'd come over, mostly walking, because that's something we both did. <laughs> I couldn't jog, not at that age, but I could walk. And we'd take beautiful walks together, talk about most anything. Playing cards. <laughs> she was a good card player. She loved playing cards, and we laughed more, the four of us, playing cards than at any other time doing any other thing. We would just crack up, and your mother was, she always went in diamonds. Even in the end, all she could do was do this, and she, she would bet on anything. It didn't matter what was in her hand, and she would usually win. I'd play cards, because when we're playing cards, it's really personal over the top shit, you know, and just laughing. You just laugh the whole time. You're crying sometimes. I really enjoyed a couple of kayak trips we did. 
God. Well, first it would be a morning run, definitely. You know, just chug along with her, just run and chat. Then probably grab a beer afterwards, just because St. Patty's Day road race, you gotta, gotta live through it. Then just probably just sitting outside right by the fire pit in your backyard and just talking. Ironically, in the kitchen. Because she was always baking or cooking or, like you said, being a hostess. And I kind of took that moment, those moments for granted. Never got to learn her secret, you know, apple pie recipe. And I would love to take another moment to do that and just enjoy the moment a little bit more. Oh boy, yeah, I've thought about that one too. And you know, I honestly, we were always about riding bikes, power walking, jogging, just something, exercise. It seemed to be what we had in common, that we love to do that. And I think, honestly, I would want to get exercise, but I just would wish for a hike in the woods somewhere, scenery, Mount Tom somewhere where we could just, we could hike up and talk, not, not, not at a fast pace, not at a pace that we always, we always seem to be intense, you know, but just at a relaxed pace, just talking and chatting and going somewhere like Mount Tom and just looking at the view and just talking about life. I think I would like that a lot. I would take her to anywhere she wanted to go, just her and I. That's a hard one. I just, right now, just like sitting there beside her. Sorry. Well, somebody that's never met her, I would tell them, you have a special treat. She's one of a kind. You'll never find a nicer person, more loving person, and one that will always be there for you if you need her. That's her life. Sweet, outgoing. She's adventurous. She likes to go on hikes, uh, kayaking, just about anything. She was never lazy. She's a wonderful person. Wonderful. Good-natured, fun-loving, friendly, and a genuinely good person. Just a ball of, like, energy. She's welcoming. She's loving. I think she's... I don't articulate it. Uh, she's Sandy. Yeah, she is Sandy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the best way to do it, the best way to say it. She was just, just always full of energy, always happy. Um, always wanted to know what was happening in your life and, and always willing to listen as well. Uh, just a great friend, great person, great mom. Probably one of the sweetest women I've ever met in my entire life. And she's just all around a good person. Her, all of her conversations have been full of life, love, and just happiness and laughter. I'm not afraid whatsoever to tell her about, like even when I was going through trouble, like either with my job or I don't know, she's just amazing. Very caring, very loving. She likes to have fun. Uh, she was, I didn't really know her in high school, but she'd be writing to me, and she was pretty crazy in high school. Not that she ever did anything wrong, but I do remember her telling the story about they took down one of the street signs. I think it was Ellen Sharon Billings. Generous, loving, lucky to have found the love of her life, lucky to have the loving family that she has. I mean, she's gone through the most horrendous journey with the support of so many people that love her. And those are relationships she's developed and built over the years with you guys, with friends. She has more friends than anybody I know. And that speaks to her personality and what a genuine person she is and a caring person she is. This kind of ties into this, but what will Sandy be remembered for? A smile. I love her smile. Her smile just lights a room. Her smile around your father, around you guys, 
Her family is everything to her and she just lights up. She's one of those people that's special. Not everyone walks into a room and you just instantly feel the energy, the positiveness. And she's just always been one of those people. Selfless, thoughtful, compassionate. Mom always puts others first. She cares for others before herself. She makes time for everyone. Those are the defining attributes of who mom is as a person. Our house growing up was a place of warmth. It was always welcoming. You walked in the door, you were greeted with a hug, uh, an invitation to dinner. It was a place that she always tried to set and define as um, somewhere that you felt welcomed and at home. Oh, your mom was a bubbly go-getter, um, friendly, um, always wanted to help somebody out. Um, you know, if she knew of anybody that needed help, she was there. And, if, and she would incorporate other people to also help out. You know, your, your mom is just, she always gives hugs. You know, even if she's just meeting you the first time, she's a very loving, caring person. More people need to be like her. It's caring. Your mom and beautiful. Beautiful in more ways than one. We always, I, we always just think Sandy was the prettiest girl in class. And her acceptance of what came her way. Wonderful mom, awesome mom. My mom died when I was two. I had a stepmom and I didn't have a really good childhood. So I learned mostly by watching other people. And I'd see your mom and I'd go, that's the right way to do it. I just would, you know, see things in people that I, that I liked and those are the things that I kind of tried to mimic in myself. And your mom was just so loving. She was such a great mom and so patient. She had the daycare in her house and it was natural. She just was able to take care of all those kids, which I probably never could have done in my life. She was a great mom. She was funny, full of energy. She loved her family, loved her husband. You could see the love in, your, in her eyes for your dad. Um, she just was caring. She made people feel comfortable. She was inviting. There's just so many ways to describe her. She's an angel put on this earth to teach a lot of people a lot of things. She is kind, loving, takes anybody in with no question, doesn't doubt anybody. I just love her. I just, like I said, she, she could be my sister. I, I, I love her. I'm going to miss her. Hard to impress on someone what kind of person has such love and such understanding and such compassion. You know, as I said, that you always felt like you're the most important person in the room all the time. And she could do that with a hundred people, and everyone would feel that way. It's really hard to explain to someone like that. When I first started hanging around with Roland and going racing and all that, I tried to tell Maureen about it. And I don't know if I did any justice to it. I just said, you want to know her. You really want to know her. And I was right. She's one of the most special people I've ever known. She just has so much to give all the time, even just sitting and looking. And she always makes it look so easy. One of the best people I've ever met. Very approachable, um, kind. You don't meet anybody more kind. Down to earth. You know, not, not stuffy at all, just, you know, gracious um, hostess, as I said. And I know I could ask her for anything, and she would do it. What will Sandy, my mom, be remembered for? Her family, you know. She raised awesome kids. Always put her family first. And, you know, there's numerous times that she used to babysit me when I would play hooky from school, back in first grade. <laughs> and, you know, I always remember just going to her, her house and it was always family, you know? There was always pictures of everyone together and 
she was just proud. And I'll always remember her, how happy and how much she loves her family. She's gonna be remembered for a lot of things. And really, case in point, will be you guys, the kids, Roland, everybody she's kind of touched upon her life. The happiness, the, the constant push forward of those that she loves, like just everything about her. She's gonna be remembered for a lot of things. And it's, it's not just gonna be like those big events, it's gonna be even like the small ones. Like it could be bacon and eggs in the morning, like especially for you guys, like for breakfast or anything like that. Um, I guess for me, probably just coming home from college and her being like the first stop for me on the way to my parents, more often than not. You know, just that, hey, how you doing? and just be able to talk with her and, and whatnot. Her attitude, she's always happy, upbeat, um, adventurous. Uh, she's just always a, a happy, fun-loving person. She's independent, definitely independent, self-starter, you know, and you could tell that by her kids. Um, loving, loving mom. You know, good family girl. She's the other half of Roland. Yeah, and how much she loved her family. You can't think of Sandy without thinking of Roland. And you can't think of Roland without thinking of Sandy. They're like a team. They created a wonderful family, you know, a good legacy. Oh, just her kindness, her quiet stated personality. Maybe other people will say she had a really big one, but I saw her as quiet, but but so loving and, and able to, to give to you without being overbearing. And, and that's one thing for sure, that, that's what she was. That's what I'll remember. Her physical and, um, and her beauty. I will forever remember the laughter. Being one of the kindest people on earth, I don't think anybody's got a heart any bigger than hers. Um, well, three pretty awesome kids. Um, that's, that's definitely the most important thing. Um, I think what I just touched on is kind of what I was going to say about what she'll be remembered for. Um, having such a big heart, bringing everyone together all the time, um, always being welcoming. Um, I think that's definitely what I think is what she'll be remembered for. Her love, her dignity her compassion. Her generosity with her time. You never interrupted Sandy. You were always welcome. Right, right now, you're always welcome. If we were to walk into her room right now, she'd be more worried about how we were feeling, how our health was than her own. She was never, never the most important person in the room was always someone else. For what a wonderful friend she's been. And she has empathy and she picks up on naturally on what people might be needing in a moment. Uh, I think it sounds like she's responded to that and made wonderful connections just based on the fact that she's been willing to like reach out and say hello to somebody uh, and follow that. Well, as I said, unfortunately, I think it's gonna be how she faced this whole horrible ordeal and, and, and it is something to be remembered for because she's done it with grace and dignity. But there's so much more to her than that. I would remember her in, by the seasons because she loved the outdoors. I see her in the spring sitting around a fire when it's a little bit cool, thinking about her plants and what she's going to be doing. In the summer, I see her on the beach, enjoying the beach and the sun like she, her and Roland always do. And in the fall, I think of the Halloween parties that she would have and Thanksgiving when everybody and anybody was invited. If you didn't have a place to go, we were invited several times for whatever reason. And in the wintertime, sitting in that back room watching a snowfall. That's what I see her doing. And that's what, how I'll remember her through the seasons until the day I die.
10 years from now, what are you going to miss the most about not having my mom here? Just not being able to go see her and remember how funny times were when I was babysitting Erin and she lived with your mother. Her life has come so far now. It's so different from the time that I remember spending the most time with her. But I guess I would say her such successful marriage and family is what stands out to me. When I think of your mom, I think success. That's a success story. If you have a happy husband and you have happy kids, that's success. That's how I define success. It just tears me apart that she's not going to get to reap the benefits of all she sowed because she spent many years sewing. Besides her advice, her hugs. The world escapes you when you're embraced in mom's arms. Your problems go away, your stresses go away. There is just this love that exudes from her in that moment. You never felt more loved in life than when you experienced a hug from mom. It was her way of just telling you without words that she was there for you. She was excited to see you and that she wished you well. I think all of my defining moments in life, I've never cried more, laughed more, or had any type of emotion more than when preceded or following a hug. I'll miss those. Her laugh and her smile. What am I gonna miss about her? Probably watching her uh, sitting on that front step. That's the picture in my mind of her as a little child. As an adult, a very special lady, and I'm proud to be her mom. I would just spend as much time as I could with her and do whatever I can do, if it's games or whatever. And that, that made her happy. Just sitting out in my patio, visiting, laughing with her, crying with her, whatever happens. That's, that's what I would want, just, just to be with her. Everything. Everything. She's always been there for me. <laughs> and she's the one I go to for her. We talked about everything. Best thing that ever happened was when they came out with cell phones. I still text her every day. She's always been there to help me through my problems and I've been there for her. I'm gonna miss just hanging out with her and laughing. She, and hugs, she's a hugger. You guys are all huggers. You hug every time you meet somebody. Hugging family. I'm gonna miss all of the uh, enjoyable moments and memories. ability to understand people. I wish I had half that ability. And I've worked with people most of my life. But she could just walk into a room and she understood everyone. She had that ability to just, a lot of people say they know how to listen, but compared to her, they're beginners. I'll miss her wisecracks. She liked to laugh. Absolutely. She liked to make others laugh. Her wisecracks were hilarious, especially when she was picking on Roland. Oh, God, that was great. It is great. It was either Easter or Thanksgiving we were at your house, and I was helping Roland in the kitchen, and she came around with a wheelchair, and she bumped him, so he moved over a step. She bumped him again, he moved over a step. Then she bumped him a third time. And finally, he's frustrated. He looked at her, he said, why are you doing that? And she pulled out her board and wrote on it and said, Showed it to him and said, because I can. And she laughed. It was just nothing stops her. I'm always looking to share something, whether it's a joke, a story, a hug, a meal, a kid's time. I think most of all, mom was authentic. She truly cared for people. And I think that's what I'll cherish about her the most and what I've learned from her the most is that be authentic to who you are.
learn to, to look for the best in people and to just be there for people. Mom is beloved by many because she loves so many. Heavenly sunshine. And I think that's what makes sunshine, her so special. Shine, guiding my soul with glory divine. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah. Jesus now is she's going to run me over. See, I can sing now. Pretty good, huh?